Is the summer of 2020 cancelled in Bristol? Three major events that signal summer in Bristol have either had to happen online or not at all. But lifting of lockdown does mean that some of our local attractions are starting to open back up. So we're going to run through some of those now. Bristol Zoo is open for business after the longest closure in its 185 year history. During that time, keepers have welcomed a host of new arrivals, such as a tiny tree kangaroo Joey, which emerged from his mother's pouch during the closure. Brunel's SS Great Britain is too already open. They reopened just in time for a very special anniversary. The SS Great Britain Trust say they have made thorough preparations to make the ship and adjoining museums and docks safe to welcome back visitors. They reopened on Sunday the 18th of July 50 years to the day since she was returned to the original Bristol dock she first left 127 years earlier. Now it could be the summer of museums because the helicopter museum is too open for business ready to show you their impressive aircraft collection. Now due to lockdown many of their fundraising events have been cancelled but there are a couple planned for the next couple of months. There's the American car rally which takes place at the helicopter museum on Sunday the 16th of August and the vintage wheels event which is set to take place on the 27th of September. Both will happen outside, so plenty of space for social distancing. Sticking with aircraft, some Bristol Aerospace is looking forward to opening on the 1st of August. There'll be a one-way system through the whole museum and due to the confined nature of the aircraft, visitors will be asked to take extra precautions if they wish to go on board Concord as part of their visit. These include wearing a face covering while on board and using hand sanitizer both prior to boarding and upon exiting Concord. So there's a brief look at some of the things you can get up to in and around the city this summer. If there's anything that we've missed, then why don't you send us an email to let us know. It's news at bristollocal.tv.